Welcome back to Nin Nin Days. Two. Shiro to shibata mo mushiroku nai de shou? Takara, kikyo o tsukamai te ageru. I don't think you should. Hee no, hee no. Watashi no te ni kakareba chou chou i no chou yo. I still wonder if this is a good idea. From what I hear, Kikyo's abilities are nothing to sneeze at. Considering that, I wonder if Suzuran will tie her up successfully. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. And we never saw her again. Hey! Shrugging off my efforts to hold her back, Suzuran moves out. A speed so fast I lose sight of her. In a flash, she's behind Kikyo. <laughs> Suzuran leaps onto Kikyo and skillfully ties her up. Just when I was about to give her it, to tell her to give it a rest. Suzuran must have slipped up at some point when tying up Kikyo. Oh lord. Part of Kikyo's clothes slid down and that is suddenly exposed for all to see. Having leapt behind Kikyo, Suzuran has no idea the position that poor Kikyo is currently in. Yeah, no, she's gonna absolutely kill her. Kikyo says this with a smile on her face, and Suzuran fearfully begins to undo the knots binding Kikyo. The second she's free, Kikyo fixes her clothes, her cheeks flushed red with a glare at Suzuran. I did nothing. Me? Yes. I kneel down next to Suzuran, twitching in anticipation of what's about to go down. Both her expression and her tone of voice are calm, however I can see her narrowed eyes are filled with anger. Normally, the more calm someone's personality is, the scarier they are when angered. This is what I'm in the process of experiencing right now. Oh, you better you're gonna be sorry in about 10 seconds, probably. But that's the first time you came to, but the first time you came to my house you were naked. Hi. Oh, oh no, we should have shut up. As soon as the words left my mouth, I realized that was a stupid thing to say. And yet, for some reason, Kikyo's smile grows even brighter at my words. When I glance at the side at Suzuran, her eyes are telling me, Idiot, don't say anything stupid. <laughs> and this is how I die. And it's a guide into anything else. It seems that what I said had indeed been very stupid. Over the next few hours, we got a complete and thorough tongue lashing from Kikio. Wanna play Resident Devil Universe?
A few days have passed since Suzerain and Kikio started living with me. It seems the modern culture has been incorporated by their village, but the truth is there's still a big technological gap in their knowledge. I have that game, by the way. The, uh, the horror one over there that is planned to do. What with the CRT televisions and ancient game consoles and the like? Showing them the latest appliances and watching their reactions are pretty enjoyable. After that, we divided up the household chores between us. I may be letting them live here, but I feel guilty letting Kikio take over all the housework. Yes, that is one we're doing. Um, uh, the hotel one. That reminds me, today it's my turn to cook, and I've gotta go grocery shopping. Luckily, I just happen to be on my way home from work and decide to stop at the supermarket before I go home. I'll end up going out of my way a little, but it's better than going out shopping again after I get home. Hmm? As I'm walking towards the supermarket, I hear a voice coming from the side street. That girl! When I turn and look towards the voice, I see a familiar ponytail girl walking to someone, talking to someone. However, I don't sense the presence of anyone else around here. I assume she might be using the phone, but she's not. There's a mouse in the palm of her hand, standing up on its hind legs. She's not talking to the mouse, is she? It can't be. There's no way anyone can have a conversation with an animal like that. The mouse responds with perfect timing. She really is talking to that mouse. Who in the world is this girl? After squeaking again with a chirp that sounds almost like Roger, it jumps lightly out of the girl's hand and takes off. I should get going too. T thinking that it's not polite to stand around eavesdropping, I start to leave when I accidentally kick an empty can that's lying on the street. It seems the ponytail girl remembers me. Sorry, I didn't mean to listen. I just thought it was strange that you were talking to a mouse. Pardon me if this sounds strange, but could you really talk to mice? No way. She was actually having a conversation with it. Talking with animals, not only that, but with a mouse? It's like a ninja who mastered the art of animal summoning. However, there are people in this world who possess an almost supernatural ability to build r rapports with animals, so it may not be so surprising after all. Well, it is it is a little questionable. Well, I wouldn't go out of my way to talk about this anyway, but if you want me to keep it a secret, I'll keep my mouth shut about it. Uh, sure. Huh, wait! The ponytail girl runs away down the side street at a surprisingly fast speed. I scratch my head in chagrin as I watch her gr form grow quickly smaller. I should have at least asked her name. She must be living in town, so we might bump into each other again. I'll just find out her name next time. Dwelling on that, I head to the supermarket. I step from the side street to the main road, and after walking for a bit, I see someone standing there who I recognize. What's wrong with her? Kikyo is pacing back and forth in front of the shop. Since I'm here, I might as well get her attention. Hey, Kikyo, what are you doing here? Oh, Arji-san. Thank you for your 
Yeah, so what are you doing? The shop that Kikio points to is a cosplay shop in a building that looks to have different businesses on every floor. Kikio, are you into cosplay? Tools of disguise? It's fine if she's interested in cosplay, but why did she come to the cosplay shop searching for a disguise? I see. A wig would probably be useful as a disguise. I had, I had an entire, con I had been entirely convinced that she was going to use an anime costume as a disguise. So, would you like to go in together? It's nothing important. It's my turn to cook today, so I was just going grocery shopping. Her costume is very pretty. I love the coloring. All right, let's go in. The moment we step into the store, we're greeted by shelves packed with anime and manga character costumes. There aren't any events coming up, and yet it's bustling with customers. Seeing this reminds me that in Akihabara, this shouldn't be a surprising sight. Oh, I like the middle picture. I wonder if that's a game, because I'd love to play it. Next to me, Kikio gazes around the shop with an expression that mixes of both surprise and confusion. This is actually pretty cool. Picking up a costume at random, I notice that it's surprisingly well made. I'm impressed that someone could make a costume like this. Of course, that's why we're here, right? Kikyo smiles as she says this and then rushes to the back of the shop. Now what to do? I check out the cosplay costumes or just kill time waiting around somewhere. I rarely come to shops like this, so it might be worth checking out. I don't know. This isn't limited to cosplay shops, but I can't help feeling shy whenever I look around clothing stores. Stores I go to frequently aren't the problem, but I feel shy if it's someplace I'm going to for the first time. I'll just wait for her. That's the safe choice. Deciding to kill time at ran in a random corner until Kikio finishes her shopping, I play with my phone while waiting. I check out a website featuring the latest book releases. Apparently, a publishing company received a grand prize in novel contest for a light novel that was written about a female ninja. And it looks as though that novel is going to be released soon. A novel about a female ninja, huh? I wonder what Suzuran and Kikio would think about that book if they read it. There may be some unforgivable errors from the professional's point of view, or they might not care at all, knowing that it's all fiction. I bet Suzerain would love it. If there are any dramatic lines in that novel, I can imagine her imitating them. I wonder about Kikyo. No matter, no matter Kikyo's opinion, I have a feeling she'd, ha she'd have a smile on her face the entire time. What is Kikyo, what ex what, what, what's going on? I snap out of my daze and look up, Kikyo standing there, peering into my face. <laughs> my opinion? <laughs> Kikyo extends her hand, showing me two different costumes. Um, aren't these cosplay outfits? It's hard to say which is best. One is a shrine maiden costume for the larger notches cut out of the sides, and it would surely be a disaster if Kikio wore it. The other looks like an outfit a witch would wear. This one is also revealing in many places and would also likely be a disaster for Kikio. When I say disaster, I mean the effect that her extremely curvaceous body would have if she wore them. Didn't you come here to buy a wig? 
そうなんですけど<笑>せっかくなので試着してみようかなって。Yeah, but... アルジさんがお好きな方を着ますよ。One I prefer, huh? Not trying either one on, does that option exist? I try to convey this thought with my eyes, but. もしかして、他の衣装が良かったですか That's not it. It seems that not trying one on is not a cha- choice. In that case. I suppose I prefer the Shrine Maiden. If Kikyo's going to ask me which one to try on, it's gotta be the Shrine Maiden. It's hard to put aside the witch costume, but personally, I'd rather see her as a Shrine Maiden. So, Richa, Mikofuku ni kigaite kimasu ne? Should I put the witch costume back in the original spot for you? That'd probably make it easier for her. So, this ne? o n e g a i t e k i m a s u Sure, no problem. I take the witch costume from Kikyo. Got it. When I give her my answer, Kikyo runs off to the fitting room. After seeing her off, I head in a different direction.、Uh, now, where does this go? I walk around the shop looking for where this costume belongs. With this many costumes, I have no idea where it came from. All the costumes are lined up. To bursting on the shelves. It's indistinguishable to me whether they are similar costumes lined up here or not. This cosplay outfit might be like one of the ones in this row. Around here, maybe? When I get to a corner with similar outfits, I gaze to the other costumes hanging up. I have no idea. I really can't tell the difference. Might be because this is an anime I'm not familiar with. I should probably just be smart now since that. Thinking that I should have done that from the start, I spin around. Someone appears in front of me the moment I turn around. I try not to bump into her, but it's too difficult to avoid at this point. In an effort not to fall over, I hold my stance, but it backfires. I trip over my own feet and fall to the floor. Oh. It's her girl. From her voice, I know that the one I crashed into was a girl. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I'm struck dumb by the revealing sight. By the sight that reveals itself. Oh no, we're gonna die! Ugh, this is a. I know this face. Actually, I was just talking with her. It's the mysterious girl who stopped at the convenience store where I work with her boyfriend, who was also a conversation with a mouse. And who also has a conversation with a mouse.、Uh, her clothing might have rolled up when she fell over because it's in a complete disarray. If that was all, it would be fine. But of all the things my hand is grasping onto her breast, despite wanting to believe this situation is too ridiculous to be true. The fact is that it's actually happening to me right now. So soft. This girl has two soft breasts that would give even Kikyo a run for her money in size. They're softer than anything I've ever touched in my life before this moment. I wonder if Kikyo's breast feels like this too. Wait, no! What am I thinking? First, I've got to apologize. It's true that this is all my fault for not looking where I was going. In that sense, apologizing is the right thing to do. However, considering the current situation, I'm in the act of committing other offenses. Uh, uh, no. Sorry! I snap out of it when I hear her voice apologize while standing up. When I step back, I put some space between us. I'm really sorry, I wasn't paying attention. The girl is fixing her tangled clothes, looking embarrassed. But the fact that I touched her chest is an undeniable fact. Oh, really? We're white Bowser. Can I really get away with being unforgiven so easily? Not that I want to be accused or anything. 
Please let me apologize somehow, otherwise I'll feel guilty. Favors? Sure, I guess, but why? What does she mean with a similar vibe? Well, if that's what you want. If that's her desire, then I should do as she asks. Anyway, I can hardly refuse her from the current position. So, what's your second favor? My opinion? That guys are into? Damn. What the heck did the senpai of hers teach her? You didn't know what to choose, so you decided to ask for my opinion, huh? She nods energetically. Hmm, when it comes to cosplay, in the end, it really depends on what the person's personal preference is. Just curious, but when will you wear it? At night? Oh, well, it can be used in different ways, right? It shouldn't matter when she's going to use it. Then what about a nurse's costume? Oh lord. She nods her head up and down in satisfaction. He does? Different strokes for different folks, I guess. Even when it comes to people's pastimes. Anyway, I wonder if her boyfriend knows that she found the DVD of his. If he doesn't, then my condolences. Sure. After expressing her thanks with a smile, the girl with the ponytail heads to the corner where the nurse's costumes are on display. I wonder if I gave her a good response or not. I'll just head over to the fitting room for now. So that is where we're going to leave it. So we'll check on Kikio next time. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Don't forget to check out my second channel, Sinfully Pure, and my Subscribe Star and Patreon. Bye, everybody.